Well, hello everyone. This is uh, Mike from Music City with yet another installment of what we call Ranking Records. The uh, artist today that uh, I am going to take a look at with you is, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pausing as I say, the band Aztec Camera, uh, because not so much a band, uh, Aztec Camera really is the brainchild of none other than uh, the brilliant Scottish musician Roddy Frame. And although he used the uh, Aztec Camera name for six uh, albums that came out from 83 to uh, 95, uh, he later stopped using that name and uh, put four solo records out under the name Roddy Frame. And, and there never really was a, a very solid, intact band uh, called Aztec Camera. Uh, he worked with a lot of different players uh, when he was recording under that name. But um, uh, really, uh, this may not have a broad appeal uh, to a lot of uh, people, uh, you know, a little bit under the radar Aztec camera, although they did have quite a bit of success in the UK. Uh, Roddy Frame is long one of my favorite musical artists, and I really uh, am doing this too. Uh, more so to, to really let people know uh, they really there's some great music out there to discover from Aztec Camera slash uh, Roddy Frame. Now um, there, uh, let, let's just look real quick what we're, what we're going to work through today. We're going to do this a little different. Uh, six studio uh, records by Aztec Camera. Uh, they were reissued a few years ago by uh, the folks at Rhino and uh, Rhino Edsel. Rhino is the U.S. Uh, company Edsel uh, being uh, the British company kind of got together to put these out. Beautiful packaging, nice hardcover copies, uh, full of bonus tracks uh, and with annotations, uh, great liner notes by uh, Terry Staunton, a noted uh, British journalist. So uh, really excited to have these. They're just beautiful and uh, they sound great and uh, there's been a lot of Aztec camera bonus tracks so it's really nice to have them. Uh, all together. And then we've got four uh, Roddy Frame solo records that we're going to look at today. I want to go kind of run through them chronologically, make some comments, tell you a little bit about them, and tell you some of the tracks you might want to look for. And then I'll give you just kind of a quick ranking. But I first became aware of Aztec Camera in 1983 uh, when my favorite artist, Elvis Costello, started singing the praises of a young Roddy Frame who was just a teenager. Uh, and when he put out his first record, and it's called Highland Hard Rain, one of the greatest debut records of all time. And uh, really, I would, I would definitely recommend you starting here. And the thing about Roddy is you've got, uh, you know, the band Aztec Camera, you know, playing in full mode on a lot of songs. And then you've got a lot of just really laid back, um, you know, sort of sedate, not sedated, <laughs> subtle, more subtle songs where he's more of a, in, a, in, a, in a folk singer vein on this record. So you get the combination of both. The big hit off of this record was a song called Oblivious. Uh, got him on Top of the Pops and all the shows back then. And a great, great song, uh, you know, and really you'll hear the band there. But you've got really great uh, singer-songwriter ballads, things like Walk Out to Winter, Bugle Sounds Again, uh, down the dip, just 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 fantastic stuff. And again, he was just a teenager, and this came out in '83. And Elvis was on his Punch the Clock tour in '83, and Aztec Camera was the opening act for the Clocking Across America tour. So I got to see Aztec Camera three times on that tour, and really loved him. And, and still today, one of my all-time favorite records uh, came out in '83. Now uh, that followed in '84. Uh, he did the follow-up called Knife, and he got to work with Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits as producer. Um, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, and, and I, I spent a lot of time listening to Roddy Frame Aztec Camera for the last couple weeks, um, I, I didn't hold this album in high regard, and I, I wasn't, for some reason, I wasn't so pleased with, with the Knopfler production. I didn't think it was exactly right for uh, Roddy's music, but going back listening, I, I, I did I did enjoy this record. Um, there was a song that got a lot of airplay back then called "All I Need Is Everything," kind of in the oblivious uh, stage. We, and we've got some some of the 
ballad type things with a song called Knife is a great one. Um, so uh, very, very good record, holds up well today. And there's something you've got to listen to. And I'm, I'm going to follow this with a playlist, hopefully. Uh, he does an incredible version of the Van Halen song, Jump. <laughs> you've, if you haven't heard it, you've got to hear it. One of the greatest cover records of all time. So that's the first two Aztec camera records. And number three came out in uh, 87. And uh, that's the record Love. It was a bit of a departure for uh, Aztec Camera at the time. A very pop record, very slick. I read a lot of reviews recently where they claim it was overproduced, and I strongly disagree with it overproduced. It was produced just right for me. It got Roddy and Aztec Camera their biggest hit uh, of all time, a song called Somewhere in My Heart. Uh, you know, I, I love one of the, I'll steal one of the expressions that took them from NME to smash hits, which is so, sort of, you know, being from, being within the critics realm to being more popular. Uh, I love the song Deep and Wide and Tall. Uh, there's a great, great ballad on here called How Men Are, where Roddy teaches us how to spell. Uh, you, you know how where, where Aretha said R-E-S-P-E-C-T? He takes it one step further and he spells probably the longest word ever spelled that in a song where he says P-E-R-S-P-I-C-T-I-V-E, -E, spelling out the word perspective in How Men Are. A great album, probably my favorite. Oh, I, I, I gotta mention the song Killer Mont Street, a, a great, great uh, Roddy Frame ballad. Uh, it was even covered by a band Fountains of Wayne, I thought it was very interesting, but great record. The uh, fourth, uh, uh, Aztec Camera record was called Stray. What makes this record really special is Roddy's collaboration with one of his musical heroes, Mick Jones from The Clash. And they did the song called Good Morning Britain. And it's Roddy getting a little political. There's a couple of political songs on here. And if you know Mick's later work with Big Audio Dynamite, uh, Roddy was even embarrassed how knowingly uh, Good Morning Britain sounded like a big audio dynamite song from Jones's band and uh, great record. Uh, the other single on this was The Crying Scene. Uh, I love uh, the song Stray is, is a great ballad. Um, a, a, very, a very, very good record for Roddy and um, with that. Now, things kind of went quiet on the Aztec camera thing. All during this period, I think there was a brief American tour around love. I didn't get to see him because he didn't play Texas where I lived so you know things kind of went quiet and then we we, we we wait about three years and we get um, this record called uh, Dreamland and I think by this time I think you know Roddy's profile had kind of lessened and, and I think this and the, and the final Aztec Camera album didn't get much attention uh, although they do deserve it now the thing about this record that's a little different and I, I apologize, apologize if I punish the name but it's Ruichi Sakimoto, we know Sakimoto, he did work with Bowie and with uh, the band uh, David Sylvan from, I think, from the, uh, the other, another British musician. Um, so there's a little bit of a techno side to this, but again, I don't think it, it distracts at all from the, the quality of, of the band. Uh, the song Spanish Horses stands out uh, with a great flamenco guitar. Now, I, I didn't say this earlier, Roddy Frame, not only being such a great singer and songwriter, is also one of the best guitar players uh, that I've ever seen or heard, and especially on acoustic guitar, and you hear something, what he play, play, his playing on Spanish Horses is just amazing. But a good record, and, and the bonus track on this is a is an entire uh, show live at Ronnie Scott's uh, in, um, in, uh, in, uh, in London, and it's Roddy Solo, and Roddy Solo is just fantastic, so I really, this is a one to get, just for that, <laughs> just for that live record. And then the final um, Aztec camera was another little bit of d diversion in terms of where he went production-wise, and this is the record Freestonia, which was produced by Clive Langer and Alan Winstanley. So it had a pop edge to it, and if you know Clanger, Clanger, I call him Clanger, Langer and Winstanley, um, you know, they, they made their fame. They produced Elvis Costello's Punch the Clock record back from 83. Uh, he also did another record for Elvis in 84, and they had their big hits with Madness, and uh, Dexy's Midnight Runner. So they were no stranger to the charts. And you got a bit of a more pop sound uh, on this record. And it's fine. It's a, it's a, it's a really good record. Uh, Rainy Season is a really good song. Sunset, another good song on this record. So I definitely pick it up. So let, let's, let's just do a quick ranking on these six. And this is going to be, this is really kind of tough for me. 
uh, and I'm and I'm gonna maybe get uh, some of the uh, my Aztec camera friends a little upset, but they're all good records. I you need to own them all, but I'm gonna go with number one, Love. I just love the slick pop sound of this record. But I was gonna say almost a tie with a great debut of Highland Hard Rain, but we'll call it one and a half or two. They're pretty close. Three, I'll put uh, Knife. Four, I'll go with Stray. Five, I'll go with Freestonia. And six, with Dreamland. That's my ranking of the uh, six great records from Aztec Camera that you need to own. Briefly, as I mentioned, Roddy is just sort of, I don't want to call him reclusive. He doesn't do much these days. Um, you know, he plays occasionally over in the UK. I was really excited to see him on in 2014 play in London. It just was fascinating. It blew me away. Um, I, he's had some personal issues that have kept him inactive, but when he does stuff, it's really good. Um, he's done four solo records. He did uh, North Star. My eyes can't see. I think it's 98. Uh, then in 2002, he did Surf. 2006, he did Western Skies, and 2014 in the tour I saw, he did Seven Dials. Uh, really great records, all of them. Uh, the comments I want to make is Surf, I'll put as my number one. Just a brilliant record, and it is just Roddy all by himself, just guitar solo. It's brilliant. The title track, Surf, is fantastic. Over You, another great song. Definitely need to hear this one. Uh, I'm going to go put Seven Dials, number two, was most recent record, a fantastic record. To me, maybe the most reminiscent thing of his solo career that reminds me of, of the Aztec Hammer days. Uh, and then these two are pretty close, good records. Uh, don't have a lot of favorite tracks on them to, to, to put one over the other, but we'll, we'll just put them together, Western Sky uh, and uh, the North Star. So... I'm going to put together a playlist for you of some of my favorite Aztec Hammer Roddy Frame songs. Really want you to get out there and give it a listen. If you do not know Aztec Hammer, I'm going to be joyfully uh, happy to, to have turned you on to them. If you do know them, let me, let me hear what you have to say about them and what you think about uh, these records and some things that I might not have said. But thanks for listening. Please help, help us by hitting like, hitting subscribe sharing these on your socials. This is Mike from Music City signing off.